Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a video on why I use paper towel instead of other substrates for my Krusty Crackle enclosures. And then at the very end of the video, I thought I would talk about the future plans for this channel. Dun, dun. So I've got a couple of comments telling me that my it isn't fair for my Krusty Deckos to be on paper towel and that it isn't naturalistic. And yes, I know it's not naturalistic. Obviously, there's not any places in the world where the ground is paper towel. And I am well aware of that. There were three reasons that I switched my Krusty Geckos over from a naturalistic substrate to a not-so-naturalistic substrate. One, the eco-earth that I was using kept getting stuck in their mouth and causing mouth rot, and the other two were because of mold and bugs. I was not comfortable having my Krusty Geckos swarmed by fruit flies every single time I opened the cage, and I wasn't safe with them having mold all over. I switched my Krusty Geckos over to paper towel for their own good in that it made them a lot healthier and a lot happier too. There are some things that my female crusty geckos miss like digging in the substrate and laying their eggs in there, so I provide multiple boxes of dirt for them to dig in and lay their eggs in. Keeping them on paper towel allows me to see their fecals and keep track of how much they're eating and pooping and things like that and I can make sure that they're nice and healthy. I've accustomed their cages to their personal needs and what they like to do and they are perfectly healthy and they're a lot happier now. Now I'll we'll talk about the future plans for this channel. Okay guys, this channel is a disaster and I'm trying to fix it, I really am. I pretty much make a video, upload it, and then delete it a week later because I don't like it anymore. And that's a problem. I love talking to people about animals. I work at our local zoo and I work in the outreach area so I have to do a lot of talking to people about the animals to educate them and get them knowledgeable about the species we have there. That is one of the things I'm really good at is talking to people. However, I suck at talking to a camera. I feel very awkward and I don't like watching myself afterwards because it just feels really weird. So that is the main thing I am working on and I feel like I'm getting a lot better at it. So hopefully you guys will see some changes in the channel. Yeah. Oh my hand. Another thing I'd like to change is the videos that I'm doing. I love doing care videos and so far I've just been focusing on the animals that I own. But my uh, brain, I guess, I don't know. But I know a lot more about other animals and not just crusty geckos and bearded dragons and leopard geckos. I'm going to start talking about small mammals because I have a very big passion for small mammals. Small mammals and reptiles are the things that I really like. I'm starting to get into bugs and things like that. But even though I don't own those animals, I would like to still teach you guys about the things that I know about them. And another problem with this channel is that I only upload like once a month. <laughs> I'm going to try to upload once every two weeks because my schedule gets kind of busy and I'm not always in the mood or having the time to make a video so I'm going to try to upload about every two weeks or so. And last but not least, I am going to be getting more animals soon. Since I am still living under my parents' household, I am not able to get everything that I want. Everyone else in my family has passions too and if I have 30 plus pets, those people can't fulfill their passions either. So, But I am allowed to get a couple of more, oh, of more, I don't feel like I said that correctly. I am allowed to get a couple more animals just I have like a amount that I'm allowed to get and I have to kind of decide what I want from that and I also wanted to let you guys know that I just started a public Instagram it's called lizard lover underscore 101 and so you guys should go check it out it's a public account and you guys can see behind the scenes footage of my animals lives I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos coming out to you guys soon so yeah stay tuned